has been. Hi, my name is Gwyneth Herbert. I am a musician, composer, singer and writer. And today I'm here at the Y Theatre in Leicester to sing and explore and celebrate the songs and life of Peggy Lee. I first got involved with the project a couple of years ago. I made a, a radio programme with Alan Shipton, who's our musical director and um, the band leader and bass player. Um, on Radio 3 we did a programme exploring the songs, a jazz library programme for Radio 3, exploring the, the work of, of Peggy Lee and found that we both had a real love of her and her interpretations of the music and her repertoire. And so Alan phoned me up kind of out of the blue and said, I've got this big band project, do you fancy coming and um, doing, doing the songs, of, exploring the songs of Peggy Lee? So here we are a couple of years later, it's a year since we were last together, so this is a bit of a reunion uh, with a large hiatus, but I really enjoy doing it. It's a long time since I have revisited my love of jazz music before doing this, and this has kind of reawakened it in me, which is lovely. I grew up listening to a lot of jazz and blues music. My dad and, um, yeah, especially my dad was a big jazz fan. So we had, he had a crackly old gramophone and I would listen to the voice of Nat King Cole and Ray Charles really through the vocalists. And then I had my first jazz trio when I was 15 years old. And then, yeah, just, just from that really, I always loved the improvisatory dialogue element of the mode of communication, the way that when you sing it or play it, there are constant conversations always changing and it's never the, the same way twice. In well, I'm influenced by everything from the Bonzo Dog Doodah Band to the sound of a frog in the African forest in terms of my own work, but if we're talking specifically in jazz terms, I guess my absolute heroine is Nina Simone, just for the way that within one phrase she can sound so utterly brittle that you could snap her like a twig and then turn around on a sixpence or a word and pin you to the back wall. She is a masterful storyteller and she sings from the heart. So she's my heroine. Um, so if I was to have any advice for any musicians or singers, although they are the same thing, musicians and singers, um, it is to just walk and, and run into every creative situation with your heart and your arms completely open and your minds open as well. Um, it's taken me a long time to figure out what my voice is and to have the confidence to make the sort of music that I want to make, um, having been in a situation where with a big label where music wasn't the focus of it, it was more about the marketing. But now that I've found that, I am still constantly learning, inspired by collaborations with cross-form artists. So my advice is just see the creative possibilities in every encounter, in every dialogue. Hear the music in everything when you're walking along and don't think that there's any such thing as a silly idea. Work and play and laugh and make. <laughs> okay, in five years' time, this is a crazy question. Um, I would like to be doing more of the same. So this year is um, my first full-length musical is opening in London that I've been writing over the last five years at the Southwark Playhouse with an amazing playwright called Diane Samuels. So that's great. So the theatrical stuff's really taking off. Um, I've just come back from Africa this morning where I've been uh, making lots of cross-form uh, cross art form stories and investigating the language of the, uh, of the tribes out there, learning Swahili and working with kids. So I really want to go back to Africa and, and do a, a longer term project there. I'm also working on a kind of sculptural uh, musical installation with Mel Brimfield about um, James, uh, sorry, Henry Moore and Barbara Hepworth. And um, yeah, I guess a new album's in the pipeline in the meantime, which probably won't be any sort of normal album. Um, I've no, I've no idea. I could be literally anywhere in the world, but I hope that I am still as excited and inspired by all of the projects that I'm engaged with, and lucky and privileged enough to be witnessing miracles 
every day through doing something that I, that I love and love to learn from. My name is Gwyneth Herbert and you are watching Leicester Jazz House TV.